The Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus get leaked in renders and show us some positive changes. The Huawei P11 is reportedly going to make a strong debut, but not as soon as we thought. And the vote to repeal net neutrality is in and has a ton of us scrambling. I'm Jaime Rivera, I am about to turn a year older, so if you don't mind, I'm going to celebrate like I should. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today actually don't begin with deals, but some interesting strategies from Apple. Uh, according to the company, as of December 22nd, and pretty much whatever's inventory on that day will be free shipping. So that's great if you want to get stuff for the holidays. And second, there's even an option where if you pay an extra $9, they'll ship things from an Apple store to your doorstep the same day in just a few hours, I believe. So yeah, <laughs> Apple really wants you to be shopping in their store, I guess. And for those of you that have second thoughts over buying things now because you want to wait and see what's coming at CES, I suggest you consider what's available now. According to some trusted sources, we're only getting mid-rangers from both LG and Samsung at CES, meaning whoever was waiting for the Galaxy S9 or the G7 MWC. That's pretty much going to be the biggest probability, which is the same thing that's happened for many years. And just to make matters even more evident, we thought that we were going to get that Huawei P11 at CES, and that's not going to be the case either, according to sources. It seems that we will have to wait until MWC, but uh, this device is probably one that we should keep in our radar, mainly because apparently it brings a ton of changes uh, that look a lot like the iPhone 10. But hey, it would be cool to get this on Android, right? So we'll see. And for those of you that were asking why we didn't discuss the net neutrality vote on yesterday's Pocket Now Daily, that's because we recorded the daily before the news went live. So let's talk about it. Net neutrality got repealed by the FCC by a majority vote. It wasn't unanimous. And it's a very sad day, mainly because we don't know exactly what to expect. While the FCC is saying that we should trust that they won't be doing anything wrong with throttling data or giving priority to certain companies, why then repeal the ruling that made sure of that? We don't know exactly what could happen, and we are actually hoping that Congress does something about it because Congress still can actually overturn this ruling. We'll see what happens. We are waiting for the internet to remain as great as it is and which enables us to be able to be here reporting the news. And finally, the hot news today, because I decided to leave positive news for the hot news, we saw the first renders of the Samsung Galaxy S9 on video. And from the source that pretty much all the time confirms what devices are going to look like. These rumors are great, mainly because from the front, it seems the Galaxy S9 will not change, or probably it will get slimmer and we just can't see it on video. But the changes in the back are awesome. We've got a single camera for the Galaxy S9, that's bad, but we've got a fingerprint scanner at the bottom, thank you. And then in the case of the Galaxy S9 Plus, it seems that we're getting dual cameras in a vertical design that actually doesn't have an insane camera hump. Knock, knock, Apple. And we also have the fingerprint scanner at the bottom where it should be. These are great designs. I feel that Samsung was probably like, oh my God, how about if we actually make a phone that people will fully like? And I think that this is the way to go. I cannot wait to see what we get, but let us know in the comments, what do you think about these leaks of the Galaxy S9? Do you like what you see when you change anything? Let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's Pocket Now Daily up here and our thoughts in the review of the Google Pixel 2XL down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.